Somebody's interested in you guys. This person doesn't know how to express themselves. This person is stressed at this time. Somebody's sending you telepathy. I'm also getting somebody's on. If you have a platform, this person's on your channel. They're under a false account. This person likes to play mind games. For her, whoever you are, this person feels as though you're drop dead gorgeous or handsome. This person's afraid of rejection. Somebody could be into science. I'm also hearing Sid, the science kid. I'm also hearing Dexter. Dexter's laboratory. Yeah, look, kiss me. This is an admirer. Somebody likes your lips, the shapes of them. Also feel like your lips are soft. Somebody wants to tongue kiss you. <clears throat> I never knew what I was missing until you entered my life. Yeah. Short term or temporary. Somebody's in love with you. All right. He can't love you how I love you, baby. For some of you guys, you could you guys could have told this person you was in a relationship. They know about a relationship that you were in. Somebody feels as though their love for you is the end all be all. You or this person could be antisocial. Maybe somebody doesn't talk a lot. You guys aren't talking. But like I said, this person has a hard time expressing themselves. All right. Somebody could be an introvert. Stay to themselves. Too many. Can we take this love slow? I'm not used to this type of love. Somebody feels as though you got that old school love. I'm hearing you give good love. All right. Somebody could be very possessive here as well. Yeah. Somebody's going through some sort of transformation here. All right. Somebody's been operating in a way. That's been working for them, but maybe this does not work for you. Somebody's definitely unbalanced at this time. It's due to how they feel. Some of you guys could get a lot of attention. It says high demand. This person could be high demand. Something that somebody does is high demand. <clears throat> somebody looks at you as very valuable for whoever you are. See, look, fraudulent activity popped out, but I feel like the fraudulent activity is the fake accounts. I just like watching y'all from an account that's not theirs. Yeah, crossing your boundaries. Yeah, somebody's very possessive here and obsessive. Some of you guys can know that this person crossed your boundaries in some way, shape, or form. It's because this person does not know how to express themselves. This is the type of person who's be so in love with you. They would find this, create a scenario actually like for a reason why they should not love you or be in love with you. But this was all while crossing your boundaries. This is that type of person. This could be somebody wealthy here. All right. This could be some sort of business owner. Somebody could definitely be wealthy here. The resources to cross your boundaries, all types of stuff here. Some of you guys could be pulling away. You could feel this energy. It's like, why do all of this when you get yeah, fraudulent activity? Why do all of this when you can come out your mouth and express yourself, right? Yeah, look, I don't make this stuff up. Somebody's ready to settle down, all right? They ready to settle down. It's like this person knows that you're the one, but they want to take it super duper slow. Too many. Let me get one more here. Yep, told you. With this self-reflecting going within transformation, somebody here knows, yeah, unbalanced, that the way that they're acting or something that they did here was not right to you. As a matter of fact, it could have been toxic. But somebody's definitely looking at you as a sturdy character. All right, somebody loves everything about you. They know that you're sturdy. 
person know that you give good love. You got a deep love. All right. And see, yeah, my life has slipped upside down since you've been gone. Some of you guys could have walked away from this person or this person could have been ghost, ghosting you. And then out your life, it's because it's love. Knock them down for whoever this is resonating for. Yeah, somebody's emotional. All right. They get very emotional when they think about you. Somebody may use their wealth to charm people, but a lot of people on my channel are not charmed by wealth. It's more so about, like, the emotion. Like, what are you willing to give out? You look wedding. This is what's on somebody's mind. This situation involves marriage. We got ready to settle down. For some of you guys, you guys have a difference in religion here. Somebody could be traditional. Somebody could be spiritual. If you are spiritual... This could cause this person to pull away. Or this person tried to change you in some way, shape, or form. Unbeknownst to you. This person is thinking about a marriage here. Yep, some of you guys, this person could have children or you have children. This could be prolonging it as well. Maybe some of you guys' schedules is off. You guys aren't able to see each other as much or something, but somebody feels like you're worth waiting for. Your love life is affected by children. Yeah, look, heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I see a reconciliation if this is a past energy, or if you guys, this person ghosted you, somebody's going to be coming back around here. Someone from your past is returning to your life, healing family issues. Some of you guys, this person could have left you and went back to. Um, a person who they have a family with, but somebody's still thinking about you. This is affecting them. We got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Somebody could be very untrusting here as well. Because um, in one of these pictures, the woman is trying to express herself to this masculine. But as you can see, he's looking away. He like, uh I don't think I'm ready for this. But in all actuality, they are. Some of you guys, you're definitely different from this person's usual types. they like, what the hell? How am I so attracted to this person? This isn't even my type. It's a spiritual thing, hon, for whoever you are. Yeah, we have healing family issues and past life relationship. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have, you have known each other before. This is a past life soulmate here. You guys have a lot of chemistry. All right. For some of you guys, um, this person may feel like you remind them of a parent. All right. Um, and maybe they didn't have the best relationship with this parent. So they could be taking, you know, some of this anger out on you. So somebody could definitely suffer from mother, um, maternal or paternal issues. Somebody needs to heal something with their mother or their father. You've got a friend in me. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. For some of you guys, you guys were sent in this person's life or they were sent in yours to set you free from societal norms is what I'm hearing. Somebody was raised very strictly here. All right. Um, somebody's like being deprogrammed at this time. All right. Somebody's been operating out of a certain... For a very long time, whereas though this person's like closed off into hearing new information and things of the nature, like, well, my mother and father told me this, so it has to be right. Somebody's feeling lonely at this time. All right. Person misses you. For some of you guys, this is definitely like something that started off as a friend, because I'm hearing we started off as close friends. Little baby. We used to tell each other everything. Somebody could definitely suffer from um, self-esteem issues, all right? So somebody could have been done dirty in the past. Um, maybe somebody feels like somebody will do that again. Or if you are very handsome and gorgeous, as it says on these cards, somebody here may feel like either you're out of their league or somebody's wealthy and somebody's not. Somebody could feel like somebody's out of their league. I'm sensing here this is a uh, this could be a very wealthy person here that's still feeling lonely. I just heard money can't 
Money can buy you happiness. She found love inside of G. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay. And we have don't let your past hold you back. I told you. All right. Somebody's feeling a, like a magnetic pull towards you. But it's somebody's lingering in this person's past. Either they have a family or um, somebody just holds on to past energy a lot. They're being called to move forward. You or them. Somebody's trying to hold on. This could be an ex holding on. They don't want to do this person right, but they don't want this person to get like to get treated right. So somebody could be going out their way here to make sure something doesn't form. I just seen 1044. This could be somebody's twin. All right. That's life soulmate here. For some of you guys, you're teaching this person how to communicate and to be more expressive. Can I get one more? Somebody also is being told, don't let the, the past hold you back from this new start, all right? How does this person feel? You're the high priestess. Somebody feels like you're very intellectual here, but I feel like they have a deep knowing of who you are, all right? This person could have had a Piscean um, ancestor. All right. We got the Knight of Cups here. There's an offer coming in. All right. Um, somebody's very wise here. Somebody also could look at somebody like, you could be young, you cover up a lot, or you just might look. Yeah. Let's see. What's the high priestess? Somebody could want you to cover up. All right. Ace of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys have not had sex with this person or you aren't having sex at all. This could be consuming somebody's mind a lot. Sex. What's the high priestess? Somebody definitely feels like you're emotionally intelligent. What's the high priestess? Today, I don't feel like doing anything. Somebody could just be laying around just thinking about you. Swing the three of cups. Look at one. What's the high priestess? All right. So we have the emperor. All right. So somebody knows who you are. You know who this person is. This is definitely a boss figure here. Somebody could be older. You could be younger. Maybe somebody could be insecure about this. They want to know, like, yeah, like, have you completely changed? Are you out of that phase, the left card? Yeah, have you walked away from, you know, whatever you've done in the past? Or um, for some of you guys, though, there has been an ending with this person. Somebody's feeling outcast, they left out, something's over here. All right, seven of wands in reverse. Somebody wants you to drop your cards, all right? Somebody also feels like you're their peace, you're their protection, or they could want to protect you, all right? We have the six of wands and the nine of pentacles. Somebody looks at you as very successful here, very beautiful. Some of you guys can model. You could be in a public slide. You're just good news altogether. What's the, um, the high priestess? All right, nine of pentacles. Somebody looks at you as self-sufficient. That's why they want to come in and bring this one pentacle to you. It's like you don't require much. All right, somebody could definitely be Muslim here in Islam, practice it, want to, or somebody just wants you to cover your body up. Somebody really does not want many to see you. We got the eight of swords. Somebody's entrapped by this love, marrying you, bringing you the stability. This is why this person's playing mind games. They look at you as... Good, good news. The Three of Cups celebrations. This person wants to bring something to you. But some of you guys, this person wants to take you out. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Show you a good time. This could be like um, like dress. Somebody could take you somewhere really nice where you have to wear a dress or something like that. All right, we got the Two of Pentacles. So they're juggling. For some of you guys, this person's actively looking. Where can they take you? For some of you guys, this person's debating how can they come towards you? Should they come towards you? But I feel like they're hard. You know, somebody's longing for you. Yeah, somebody's looking at you as a missed opportunity. All right. 
For some of you guys, you walked away from this energy. You just juggled or this person couldn't make up their mind. All right. Or they didn't show you the time and attention and affection that you wanted. What's the seven of um, wands? Yeah, queen of cups. They definitely want to drop your defenses. It's like somebody didn't know who you were. Maybe somebody could have thought you was trying to call the shots in their life or something like that. Because queen of cups is motherly energy. They want to drop their guards. This could be like a real macho masculine. It's like, don't tell me what to do. Or, you know, I'm the man of the house. Or, I'm the man. I make all the decisions. And it's the end of the third. Somebody's trying to learn how to become more receptive to how you feel. All right. What's the six of wands? This good news. Somebody could have got a promotion, a raise, a bonus, a new job. Something happened here where so somebody wants to share some good news with you. Yeah, the moon. Somebody wants to tell you something. Something good, though. All right. This is just going to be a surprise to you guys. You guys don't even know how this person feel. I feel like this person never expressed it. You never seen it. They never showed it. They never did any of this. But internally, this is how this person feels. And look, they know they got to come forward because these manipulation tactics with the magician in reverse, it ain't working no more. All right. I'm here. It ain't worth telling you lies. That's why I'm right here begging you to please don't go. King of Swords, Six of Swords, Star. Somebody's going into healing. They're thinking about how they could come towards you and heal the situation. Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm here. I don't want to be a player no more. This could be somebody, like I said, with the star in the public light. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo. We have Aquarius here, Pisces, the Aries. We also have Scorpio. Um, Aries Leo Sag, somebody wants to come forward here. Mm. All right. But yeah, somebody definitely is abundant here. I feel like both of you guys are in your own right. All right. Somebody's going into self-reflective mode because they know in order to heal something with you, they have to go within. All right, somebody could have been doing a lot of projecting. Yeah, the hermit, this person has to go within. And with the three of wands, because I feel like in the past, this person was looking outward. Something don't work here. They go out to look elsewhere. Now somebody's like really sitting down and thinking like, wow, maybe I played the role in this or what do I need to fix? And, you know, somebody's definitely in the premature phases of their life, whether this is a young person or an old person. Somebody knows that um, everything can't be everybody's fault. Sometimes I'm the problem. For some of you guys, this person's mad. They're longing for you. They're angry. If you guys are going out, you telling this person you're going out or you ain't got the time, you tied up. Somebody's angry. They don't want to hear it. All right. Yeah, but the throat chakra, they got some words that they want to speak to you, too. Somebody's mad. Yep, yeah, about you telling them you all tied up, you ain't got the time. All right. Somebody's doing mind work on you right now, and this is the type of person that wants you to feel their energy, and you reach out to them. I told you they're doing mind work. Somebody could be paying to get work done on you. All right. Somebody also could be trying to block your love. Like, they like, look, I'm the end all be all. It's me. All right. This is that person. Here they go. Somebody about to take action towards you. They say, you say what now? You tied up. She did. Look. Rest and rejuvenation. Patience. Persons waiting for the perfect time to sneak up on you. All right. And this ain't the scary, y'all. This ain't scary for this person. Like, oh, they don't think that I'm, you know, mm -mm -mm. they don't think I'm brave enough or they don't think I'm man enough or woman enough to do this. Look, deceptive. They're going to sneak up on your ass. Deception and patience when you least expect it. Right? They look at you as a goddess. Very beautiful. And I feel like the divine is telling this person that you are it. Close this out here. One more. Somebody could have been in and out of your life or wasting time just to, like, keep you as a placeholder. Some of you guys walk away from this and tolerate it. But look, this is what this person wants with you to sign. And a uh, happy family. Mm. That's all I have for you guys. Take care.